Good morning. Grayson County High School. I'm Maria. And I'm Jess. And here's and your morning news. On day 14 of our 2020 staycation. Let's head to Haley and Caroline for the Help Save the Next Girl Tip of the Week. Now it's time for our Help Save the Next Girl Tip of the Week. If it is safe to do so, make eye contact with the person that you feel is suspicious. Even say something to them. Now that you have seen their face and could identify them, you lose a pill as a target. Learn to make some mental notes about identifying features of a person, as if the police sketch artist is going to need those details. Senior News. Baccalaureate, graduation, and prom have all been rescheduled for June. Check your email for more information. These scholarships are now available with April or May deadlines. For more information or to pick up an application for these and many other uh, and many other scholarships, stop by or email the guidance office as soon as possible. The James Blythe Memorial Scholarship for thousand dollars. You must enter the field of uh, you must enter the field of electrical engineering, general engineering, electronics, computer engineering, or communication. The deadline for that is April fifteenth. The Brock Funk Memorial Scholarship for thousand dollars. You must have a three point zero GPA and participate in two varsity sports for at least two years. The deadline is also April fifteenth. The Charles Litz Dave Nicholson Memorial Scholarship for five hundred dollars. You must enter the field of electrical engineering, general engineering, electronics, computer engineering, or communications. And the deadline for that is May, no. The deadline for that is April 15th as well. The SVAM scholarship for 1,000 or 5,000, you must plan to pursue a career in manufacturing. The deadline for that is April 15th. Virginia Sheriff's Institute scholarship, applicants must be a resident of VA and choose to major in criminal justice field. The deadline for that is May the 1st. How about some happy news in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic? Here's your happy world news moment. Myth-busting study says cats form emotional attachments to their owners, just like dogs and babies. The findings reported in the journal Current Biology on September 23rd might have been the first to show that. Much like children and dogs, pet cats form secure and insecure bonds with their human caretakers. The findings suggest that this bonding ability across species must be explained by traits that aren't specific to canines, the researchers, researchers say. Like dogs, cats display social flexibility in regard to their attachments with humans. The majority of cats are s securely attached to their owner and use them as a source of security in a new environment. The results show that cats bond in a way that's surprisingly similar to infants. In humans, 65% of infants are securely attached to their caregiver. The results show that cats bond in a way that's surprisingly similar to infants. In humans, 65% of infants are securely attached to their caregiver. Domestic cats mirrored this very closely. So what does all this mean? It means your cat really does love you, and that makes everything better. Hey, you guys, want to hear a joke? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you call a cow with the shakes? What? What? He's jerky. <laughs> <laughs> What's for lunch, Marianne? Lunch. Well, I'm not sure what you guys are having, but I know after I get off this Zoom meeting, I'm going to make some cookies. Um, here are today's activities. I don't really have anything planned today. Just be sure that everyone stays home and stays safe. Hey, Blue Devils, here are your words of wisdom. If we had no winter, the spring would not be so pleasant. If we did not sometimes taste of adversity, prosperity would not be so welcome. And Brass Street, offer positive encouragement to someone who is feeling down today. We'll see you here each Tuesday through Friday. Same Blue Devil time. Same Blue Devil channel. Have a great day.